nothing, nothing out of the ordinary that I just uh, playing a little bit more and <clears throat> trying to get as many rebounds as I can, finish as many lobs and dunks as I can. Simple as that. Parky was saying that he kind of told you to before the game roll fast and you'll either get the lob or be in position. That kind of a different little adjustment for you today? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's tough him com coming downhill and me rolling hard to the to the rim. So uh, usually it's gonna be open. If not, I'm gonna get something good out of it. You, your body to body with Durant. I think there was one instance with Drummond. I mean, maybe that surprises people who are familiar with your game. But is that just something that you've done over the course of your career with the Uh, just something that's taking time to get better at. You know. Going up without fouling them, fouling. Have you gotten better at that over the course of this season? Like maybe earlier in the year, we're going to talk about play. Yeah, for sure. Earlier in the year, we're Yeah, I definitely got better at it. Was it Texas Longhorn? Did you meet Kevin during college and stuff? Yeah, he's. Uh, I met him a few times actually, over the course. He would come visit the campus. Yeah, play with us. Pick up. Was it nice to get that walk on him? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. What is uh, what is your guys' relationship like? Does that help at all that you you play pick up against him before? No, not really. I mean, Kevin's Kevin. He's gonna do what he does. Um, but you just gotta try your best. You seem pretty even keel on the floor, but I think the camera showed you at least grin a little bit when the crowd started to change. What was that like for you to hear that? I just started, broke a smile on the, um, on the play that she was talking about going up two verticalities. And, uh, so I was just happy that we got the fast break. Did Kevin and his visits to the campus, did he ever give you any advice? I, I, I didn't get a chance to really talk to him a whole lot, right. um, just briefly. But he would play a scrimmage yeah. with you guys? One time, once. Gerald, what, um, what, what veterans have you kind of grown close to? Who are the guys who you look at for advice? I mean, all of them really. You got uh, Taj, you got Neros. Um, I'm talking to AB, then Kemba when he was uh, around with us, and then, um, of course, Derek. So uh, then I've been talking to Ju Julius as well. So pretty much everybody <laughs> is in my ear at some point. Taj was talking about last week about how he tries to work with you closely and you guys work together a lot. What, what have you learned from him? He's been playing forever. What have you learned from him? Just he's always in good position, being that he's played for a while. So um, he'll give me little tip pointers here and there during the course of the game. and then course, how, uh, how we can score and how we stretch on the floor. So that's something that um, we're looking to do at some point. Tom was talking afterwards about saying that you haven't shown really in the games, but he's seen playmaking from you out of the post. Is that something you just kind of getting comfortable in, in this role you're in already and trying to find that now? Yeah, just finding more ways to impact the game is all it is. From the time uh, after the All-Star break when they decided to give you a lot more playing time to now. Is the one thing that you feel you've really progressed in? Um, hey, Ovi was saying yesterday though, that getting game reps makes a difference, that, that a lot of things you have to learn by playing. Yeah. Do you kind of feel like that, that it's accelerated since you've been playing a lot? Yeah, it's just repetition, so. So what have you been happy about since the All-Star break to now in terms of how you um, just getting the opportunity to step on the floor and play with the guys, get better with them. So. All right. Thank you, Jargo. Thank you.